All right, Saints, uh, Minister Paul in Northern California. It's 1232 on uh, May 1st, 2013. Is that right? Ran across this story today. Breaking news. Pentagon confirms that they may court-martial soldiers who share Christian faith. Unreal. Now, this has been uh, confirmed by Fox News and Breitbart, and I'll put a link, and I want you to check it out. Basically, that um, it'll be a crime. They're going to make it a crime. Uh, even as a chaplain to uh, share the gospel of Jesus Christ. You heard me right. You can be gay in there. I mean, you can do pretty much anything you want in this world. You can have an abortion and kill a baby. You can do everything the Bible says not to. One thing you can't do is share your faith. It says it will not be tolerated. And this is from the Department of Defense and the Pentagon. You can be put in prison. The punishment will be a court martial can include imprisonment and dishonorable discharge for the military. And President Barack Obama, is that name showing up everywhere in a bad way? Yesterday he said, God bless Planned Parenthood, the people who murder babies. Everybody's loving Obama, saying what a great and mighty president he is. Even here, right here on YouTube, Christians are saying, stop talking about him. He's a good man. Good don't get you to heaven. By your fruit shall you know them. Just saw this seven minutes ago. Let's just get, get this out to the world. Jesus could come back any minute. I want to I make note. I'll put a link, and then you can read it for yourself, but... Now, now, I just want to read this one paragraph. President Barack Obama's civilian appointees who lead the Pentagon are confirming that the military will make it a crime, possibly resulting in imprisonment for those in uniform to share their faith. So me and you working together, we can't talk about Jesus. It'd be, you'd end up in prison for that. This would include chaplains who are military officers who are ordained clergymen of their faith, mostly Christian pastors or priests, or Jewish rabbis whose duty since the founding of the US military under George Washington in other words it didn't used to be a crime it used to be their duty sworn in as chaplain since the beginning of the US military under George Washington the very first president of the United States to teach their faith and minister to the spiritual needs of troops who come for them for counsel instruction or comfort not anymore. Now they'll throw you in prison. Isn't what Jesus said? They're going to hate you because they hated me first. Everything he said is coming to pass. And uh, yes, they are. Uh, the state of California did try to intercept my funds. They really did. They tried to intercept my funds. I'm not going to release it. They claimed I'm somebody else uh, withholding my taxes. There's the letter right there on the screenshot. It says, Notice of Intercepted Funds from the state. They're claiming I'm somebody else, but I'm not. I, I, I'm, uh, everybody knows who I am. And look at the time YouTube assigned it. 3.33. That's why I started to make a follow-up that says assign. But, you know, I just feel like there's more important things to focus on right now. That's why that no one has seen this video ever. Where it says, I prove... The government is targeting Christian ministers. The New World Order in action. And by the way, it's still windy. The wind has not yet stopped. Stay focused on Jesus. He's coming back any night. I'm, I woke up to a dream this morning listening to Isaiah. Um, and it was talking about the holies of holies and his shedding his blood. And, I, and the, the rapture was found in the book of Isaiah. I suggest you listen to it. It's on Sister Rose's channel, by the way. I listen to it every night. There's a 7. Look at this. There's a 7-3. People don't like the numbers. People don't like a lot of things. The, the, the numbers are all throughout the Bible, and they were shown to me by an angel. And I guess talking about them pretty soon will be a crime, so might as well get it all out now, saints.